Hey there, all y'all some crochet people. Today, we're going to learn how to do a slip knot, a chain stitch, and I'm going to show you some tips. And we're going to do it left-handed, because I'm left-handed. All right, I'm going to grab this yarn, and I'm going to teach you how to do a slip knot. It's the most basic part of doing a crochet project, especially if you're doing it back and forth, row by row. So let's get into this slip knot. Wrap it around your finger in a counterclockwise motion and turn. Now pinch it between your fingers and you're going to bring that loop right up into it. And after you pull up the loop, gently pull the tail. Now you have a slip knot you can put on your hook. Hooray! Let's see that again. Alright. Take your yarn in your right hand, hold it between your fingers wrap around either one or two fingers in a counterclockwise motion making sure to cross the yarn over itself pinch it and pull your fingers out turn it over and that way you can put that loop right through the hole pull it through pull your tail and you've made your little slip knot and now we can get to chaining I like to follow the rule that my hook is smiling at me. See the little hook? Pretend it's smiling. It's got little eyes. It's looking at you. Now we're ready to get chaining. Keep your finger on the loop that's on the hook. It helps it from sliding off, sliding around while you're making your chain. You want your hook to do most of the work. Don't pull your tension too tight and try not to cramp up your hands. You're not gonna like that. All right, so now with your finger holding the loop, you're gonna yarn over, often referred as Y-O, yarn over. It's really big in crochet terminology, especially in instructions for stitches. You're always gonna yarn over. All right, we yarned over, we're holding under our loop, we're gonna just pull the tail a little bit, slide it up the hook so that yarn over hooks under, make sure your hook is smiling, and pull it through, and you've made your first chain stitch. Isn't that awesome? All right, let's do it again. Use your finger to hold the loop, yarn over. Right now, it might be helpful to grab the work as you yarn over, pull that yarn through the loop and you've done it again. So now tension is very important so I hold it through my fingers I'm not pulling too hard just very gentle. You still want the hook to do a lot of the work so we're gonna do it again. Yarn over, pull through, and one of the tips I have is keeping that yarn close to the edge of the hook. It really helps when you're making stitches really even keeping them tight, sometimes not too tight. Just keep it really close. That way your stitches all look really good. So yarn over, do it again. Yarn over. Now we've made one, two, three, four, five stitches. Let's make a sixth. Now we've got six stitches on our hook. We're always going to want to make sure we're not counting the little knot as a chain stitch. Instead, we're counting this little round bit. Sometimes they look like little hearts. So let's do some more chaining. I crochet really fast, so if I go too fast, please leave a comment. All right, we have our chain. Now, if you're having trouble getting the hook to pull the yarn through the loop is a little technique I did when I first started crocheting. It's a little rudimentary, but it really helped me. It takes a lot of time. So what you'll do is you yarn over, and with the little loop, you can pick it up with your fingers and pull it gently over the hook. Now let's chain a few more. Now we have a nice foundation chain. Now for those of you making a foundation chain that needs to be connected for crocheting in the round, Let's pretend we're making a chain foundation loop 
And I'll give you a tip on how not to twist your chain. But first let's make this chain a little longer. The goal of this is to get where your hook is to the first chain without twisting. Follow these steps by holding your hook above the work with the chain below. Use your thumb to feel the flat part of your stitches and gently pull the chain, making sure that flat part of the stitches move across your thumb until you reach the end. Now you know your chain isn't twisted. Then you pull the chain down, careful not to twist. Then you place your hook into this little beginning chain. And we're going to make a slip stitch. Be sure not to pull your tail in. Yarn over and pull a loop through that chain and then through the loop that's on your hook. And there you go! You have a slip stitch, successfully not twisting your foundation chain for projects in the round. Congrats! You've learned how to make a slip knot, chaining, a slip stitch, and other tips. Thank you for watching, and I hope you take your hook and yarn with confidence and go make some chains!